This video is brought to you by VolunteerAudio.com, your number one source for all things Harley-Davidson audio, from individual radios, speakers, and amps, to complete plug-and-play amp and speaker systems, we've got you covered. And once you've ordered your package from Volunteer Audio, it includes lifetime tech support, and we have the very best step-by-step -step installation video so you can install it yourself and save money. All right, first, this particular factory speaker had the separate tweeter in the grill, so we're gonna unplug that. Later, we're just gonna snip these wires off. We're not gonna use it anymore. We're gonna disconnect our speaker wires. The larger black plug is the negative. The smaller clear plug is our positive for later when we go back together. Now, I'm just gonna take the four screws out holding the speaker in. All right, so we've got our speaker out. We're gonna put our adapter in. You're gonna notice that this can go multiple ways inside of here. Now, there's only one right way. Uh, actually, there's probably two or three that'll work, but we definitely don't wanna space it where it's up and our fairing won't go back on. Quite often, I see people leave comments. I put my speakers on, now I can't get my fairing on. Uh, it's simply because they put the adapter in the wrong arrangement. You'll notice there are four screw holes. I'm normally gonna use the bottom one, the top one, and the one to the inside. And the reason we're doing that is it's gonna space our speaker the most to the inside as well. It's gonna give us more clearance for our fairing going on and off, but it's still gonna adapt that six and a half to give you that great sound. Now hardware, we're gonna use three screws that, are, that come with these. Sometimes we see the manufacturers mess up and send too long of screws. If they're over roughly an inch, don't use them. We don't wanna come out the front of the fairing we wanna make sure that our screws are the right length. So just kind of give you that warning. I've seen longer ones before from certain manufacturers and uh, we try to make sure at Volunteer Audio that if we see that, that we replace them with the correct length screws. I'm gonna start with my middle screw here, my number two screwdriver. We're just gonna start at a couple threads, a couple turns there. Same thing up here at the upper one. It's going into those factory screw holes for that we just took the speaker out of. Same thing here on the bottom. Now we're gonna have a mirror image of this on the other side, also spacing that speaker to the inside just by rotating that adapter around. All right, so here's our new six and a half inch precision power uh, this is the MAS654, it's a 4 ohm 6.5. Here's our factory speaker. And I just want you to kind of look at the total build quality. Number one, how big the speaker is in comparison, how much more surface area we have to generate sound. We also have an integrated tweeter in the middle of the speaker to give us a good crisp high range. But look how much bigger that magnet is. So much more magnetic property. This is just like what comes in the newer Harley speakers. It's terrible. Won't even pick up a screw. Uh, there's, I don't know where they hide the magnet at. But somehow or another it played for a long time. Uh, I don't think it played when it got here, uh, but this is a much, much better improvement, much lower mid bass. So we're gonna get a more full sound and more overall volume. All right, so we're gonna arrange our, we're gonna put our speaker up in here and you're gonna notice we have some slotted holes and some round holes. We're gonna use the round holes and I'm gonna take those terminals and I'm gonna point them toward that interfering. Now you're gonna use four screws per side. I know they give you eight holes. That's just so you can put it anywhere you want it. I'll start a few of them. These are quite a bit longer than needed. They came with the speaker, but there's no risk of them actually going anywhere that we don't need them. They're not gonna poke a hole in the fairing or give us any kind of problems by being longer. So currently Precision Power does not offer the adapters to do the six and a half. We hope they do that in the future, but for now at volunteeraudio.com, we have these bundled together with these correct adapters that you see here so that you can upgrade to that six and a half. We also have a couple other speakers as well available, but this one's gonna fit this. Uh, Dennis listens to a lot of uh, older rock and country, and these are gonna be great for that genre of music. All right, so we talked earlier that the larger terminal that's black is gonna be our negative. We're gonna see if it fits tight, which it seems like it does. If you ever have a loose terminal, simply just crimp them a little more with your 
suppliers. Uh, Precision Power does a great job. They make the terminals two sizes. They make one big that only the negative will go on, and they make a smaller positive one that only the smaller one goes on. So you really can't mess this up and put it in the wrong place. But if you're doing another brand of speakers, just keep in mind that smaller one is your positive, the bigger one's your negative. Got those on.